check. Check. Hello, cameras. Action. I'm Randy Owen for uh, number one for country. <laughs> yes, we're going to try and talk to these guys, Washboard Union, nominated for Breakthrough uh, Group of the Year, group, yeah. which is awesome because you go back over the history of that award, uh, although no country group has won it yet, it's only been in the last three years that a country group has actually been nominated. Is that oh, right? Wow. Yeah. I mean, um, Cold Creek County two years ago. Uh, James Barker Band last year. Now you guys this year. So that's, right. that's special for one. That's mm. really cool. Number yeah. two is the fact, I mean, although the, the uh, award for country album of the year is decided by people who are in the industry, the fact that the breakthrough group of the year is decided by people outside of country music, it's an all genre thing. It's all genres that are voting for you guys too. That's really good. They got you there. So that's got to be special. Absolutely, Absolutely. man. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know it's, that. That's great. Yeah. So it's, it's, it, it means, I think, um, that you guys have arrived in that uh, you guys are... are Pop. <laughs> <laughs> You're popping all over the place. Yeah. So, so, yeah, that, which is awesome. Um, how does it make you guys feel to know that now? <laughs> I, I just, yeah. I love the feeling that, you know, the Junos does such a great job at turning people on to music of uh, all different genres. Mm -hmm. um, and you sometimes get this sort of false sense that, you know, you're so busy on the road that that people know who you are. and But people who don't listen to country music are discovering Washboard Union for the first time. And I love that. Um, and people this weekend that have been like, we never had seen you guys live before. Yeah. So any opportunity that that can happen and people can be turned on to new music, gosh, we've been turned on to like Loud Luxury we were hanging out with today at awesome. FanFan. Yeah, those guys wow. are incredible. Yeah. I was just going to ask you guys, like, who are you looking forward to seeing or hearing or meeting or running into at all during, during the Junos? Well, I just got it. Loud Luxury was for yeah. me. It was. Yeah. Uh, I've actually been kind of geeking out on pop music in the last year, mm -hmm. and uh, Loud Luxury was one of these these groups that popped because I didn't I didn't know any of the names at all. And it's like, oh, who's this? Loud Luxury. Mm. And before you know it, now we're up for an award with them, meeting them, and I'm I'm a big fan of the music, so I was kind of fanning out with them. Yeah, you know? yeah. And to Chris's point too, it's like uh, I think listeners are ready for for listening to different genres of music. It used to be, you would be focused on your own genre. Right. But now people are really accepting and, and, and want to hear different sounds. Yeah. And, they go, and they go search them out, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. which is, I think it's wonderful for music in general. So, so thank you, Junos, for doing that. And thank you to, to the fans that are out there, which mm -hmm. is pretty awesome. And, and what are your fans saying about you guys being here now? Because you've had, a, you've had a, 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 good, a good set of fans following you guys for the last couple of years. We have, and, and London has actually been a, a really great town for us because this is, is a country town. Like People show up to the shows, and from two years ago, people come here and say, hey, I wanted to come and see you guys again. I had such a great time at your last show, and we met a bunch of people that we met before out here. So and and London holds a special yeah. place for us because I mean, we want to see CMA here. That's and, right. You know, it's just such a, it's been a great town for us, and last night proved it. You know, we... Um, we didn't know what to expect walking into that show, and, and it was packed, sold out, and it was incredible. And they sang along to every single song. It was wild. Yeah. It's nice to know you could almost turn the mics off and let them do the singing. Yeah. yeah that a, worries me a little bit. I've been to some shows where, where artists do that, and they let the audience sing along, and I'm thinking, well, if I paid whatever it is it's to see the artist sing, I'm hearing the audience sing instead. I should be, <laughs> I should be paying them. <laughs> but you're no, I get it. You're, I mean, you're not getting your money back okay. if that's what you're asking. Yeah, okay, <laughs> all right, fine. All right. <laughs> hey, listen, thank you, guys. Um, for all that you do, and, and the fact that you're helping rep represent Canadian country music uh, right across Canada at something like the Junos, yeah. where it's all genre, I think it says a lot about what you guys are doing and how you're elevating Canadian country music beyond those imagined borders that everybody has. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You very much. That means appreciate a lot. it. That means a lot coming from a guy like you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So good luck. And again, Washboard Union at the Junos. Watch for our DJ set. <laughs> yeah. Tonight we launch our EDM project. <laughs>